Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 4 of Hut Roulette, and in the last one we ended off with a one game win streak. So we're trying to win two games here, and hopefully we can open up a pack at the end of this episode. So anyways, it happened again, my recording device has been crapping out this past week, I actually figured out that it was actually my microphone that was having problems. So I went out, bought a new cord, and so far the recording videos has been not a problem. So the only thing is I am 4 points into Division 8. Anyways, before we get into a game, I will show you my team. On the first time, we got Boone Jenner, Barkov, and Shen. We also have Fro Leak, Nugent Hopkins, and I did decide to move Yannick Hansen to that second line left wing spot instead of Matt Martin. Uh, on the third, we got Matt Martin, Peter Holland, and Matt Nieto. And on the fourth, we got Sean Mathias, Melker Carlson, and Tom Wilson. So our team is still looking pretty good in terms of offense. Going on to defense, we got Mike Green, Hampus Lindholm, uh, Johnny Oduya, Zach Bogosian. Cody Franzen and Trevor Van Riemsdyk so I definitely would like some more defensemen in packs just because our defensive core is not looking too good and if there's teams with really fast players we might be struggling a little bit in division 8 but anyways that's just about it let's get right into the first game of this episode I'll meet you guys in there all right here we go guys the first game he's got Thomas Tatar Martin Hansel, and I couldn't see who was on his right wing there, but it uh, doesn't look like too hard of a team, Kucherov, so uh, anyway, let's start it up, let's see what we can do. Oh, and just like that, he has rage quitted. I think he has been having some problems with his controller, because like, uh, he has that little glitch where the stick kind of holds out and he can't skate forward, so I don't know, he quit all the game, let's see if we get the win for that. If we do get the win, then we'll go ahead and pick up a player, but we didn't get any shots that game, so I probably would just pick up the first player if uh, we did win that win that game yeah so look at that guy so we do end up with a victory we got two points for that game and just about a thousand coins as well so i'm not sure if it was a rage quit or if he disconnected uh, but i'm not going to complain at all that is a victory in the books and uh, we can pick up another player for the team so let's go ahead put that buy now maximum at seven thousand and thirty four coins and since we didn't get any shots i'm just going to be choosing the first player whatever pops up first so let's go ahead search the option search page and let's see what we get and we're going to get Alexander Radulov. Not a bad player at all. So let's go ahead and buy him out. Put him into the team. Okay, guys. So welcome back to the team. And as you guys can see, I threw an Alexander Radulov into that first line left wing spot. Cost me just around 1,700 coins. So definitely not a big chunk off our coin total. So maybe that will save up for our next pickup if we can win this next game. So let's give Alexander Radulov his debut. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we're facing a Montreal Canadiens fan. He's got Galchenyuk, uh, Carr on his team as well. But uh, let's see how we turn up with Radulov. Oh, Radulov is definitely our fastest skater now. And uh, we'll give him his debut. So let's get right into it. Get a nice shot. Oh no. Oh, nice face off win. Back to the point. Get a shot from the point. Oh, do ya? Nice shot. Off the post and in. Beating Darcy Kemper there. And we make it one to nothing. That is a nice shot, not gonna lie. Oh, Franzen, shoot the puck. Oh, man, almost tucked it short side there, but it's still one to nothing after the second. So, I mean, our players are playing pretty well, but still, we need to capitalize on our chances. 13 and 10 shots, 6 minutes, uh, time on attack at 3 minutes. So, we'll have to get that next goal here, see what we can do in the third. Oh, Lindholm, come on, just walk in and shoot it. There is his goal, and uh, we should have given Hampus Lindholm his, like, proper debut but from that last rage quit can't really do that but Hampus Lindholm with an absolute snipe on uh, Darcy Kemper there we make it two to nothing Jenner oh man almost a snipe there back to the point other point okay for leak you can take it that's going in for leak with a dribbler oh man that was like a change up right there and the goalie cannot react to it and we make it three to nothing Nice face-off win. Shen, just shoot it. There it is. There is another goal. I think that is definitely the dagger for this game. Making it 4 to nothing with only 10 minutes left. So, he's got to really convert on his chances if he wants to catch up now. So, we got to play some good defense. Oh, there's another goal. And that's going to seal the deal for sure. 5 to nothing. Matt Nieto, point blank. Just absolutely rips it past R.C. Kemper's shoulder. So, Five to nothing. We'll fast forward to the end of the game. All right, so that is the W. I do end up giving him a breakaway goal, but whatever. A win's a win still. Let's take a look at the amount of coins we get. So definitely above 
eleven hundred. So twelve hundred and thirty-four. One, two, three, four coins from that game. We're four one zero in the season. So we only need one more win to get that division eight title bonus, which I think is about seven hundred fifty coins or a thousand coins. Not exactly sure, but twenty-seven and fourteen in shots. Let's go ahead and choose the twenty-seventh player. I'll meet you guys there. Okay guys, so I totally forgot we also have to buy that pack. So we'll go ahead and spend 300 coins on one of those 15k uh, gold plus packs. And we're going to see if we can get anything good. So let's go ahead, purchase this, and hopefully we can get something good. There's a really nice team of the week out, but uh, I guess I forgot to show you guys the team of the week. But if we do pull one of them, they should be in one of these packs. We got a new head coach. Let's see if we can pick up some good defenders here. I'm still waiting for some good defense. Uh, got some contracts. Where are the players? Andre Markov. All right, that is a pretty good defender. Not going to lie. Uh, Team Canada logo. We get one more rare gold player from this pack. So, come on. Philadelphia Flyers. Jason Palmerville. All right, an 86 overall pickup. Not bad at all. Uh, Zach Trotman. Definitely not going to use him on the team. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. A lot of jerseys, which I can sell later. And if we can build up that coin total. Mark uh, Borowicki. Don't need him either. Joel Armia, I think he's like six foot six or six foot seven, so I might use him. I don't exactly know yet. And Nick Holden as well, another left defender, only 82 overall though, so can't really use him. So, anyways, uh, I will go ahead sort some of the players in the jerseys. I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, guys. So after selling everything, these are the players I will be keeping: Andre Markov and Jason Palmville. Honestly, none of the non-rare gold players interested me, so let's send those to the collection, and we should also be getting some coins after we back out here, and uh, we can buy our next player. Okay guys, so our coin total did update, and we're now sitting at 10,018 coins, so we're going to see if we can get something good, because that is a pretty high buy now range right there, and uh, we'll hopefully try to get something good for this last pickup of this episode of Hot Roulette. So let's go ahead, search the auction search page. We're choosing the 27th player because we did get 27 shots that game. So we'll go ahead into the next page here because we know there's 14 players. So we'll start at player number 15. And it's going to be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 at Brandon Sod, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Carl Hagelin. There's like a lot of Carl Hagelins on this page. And I was really hoping I would get one of them. And luckily we do end up landing on him. And he has 91 skating for his card. So I'm absolutely excited to buy him out. Let's go ahead, throw him on the team, see where he fits in. Okay, so we did find a spot for Carl Hagelin. And he's now on that first line left wing spot. I bought him for 1,500 coins on the marketplace. So I'm still sitting at 8,500 coins for the next episode of Hub Roulette. So we still have a lot of good chances to pick up some really good players for this team. That will definitely improve it for sure. So I also threw in Jason Palmville, one of the packed players I got. Moving down some of the players like Boone Jenner, Michael Froelich. Also putting in Alexander Radulov into that right wing spot instead of Braden Shen. I think Radulov was a pretty good player in my last game. So I think it's a pretty nice little fit for him. As well as defense, I did throw in Andre Mark off into that second line right defender spot uh, just behind Hampus Lindholm because Hampus Lindholm does have some better stats so that's just about it if you guys are excited for next episode leave it a like let me know that you guys are enjoying this series but that's about it guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy I'll see you guys in the next one bye Justin Bufflin, honestly, you really have to try him out for yourself. When he has that puck on the right wing spot, and you know, they have a left defender that's kind of small, like a Morgan Riley, or they have like Jake Gardner, or whatever small defenders they have, uh, usually Dustin Bufflin does not get knocked down or give up a puck.